Song at number five on my fantasy playlist, up two from number seven, fantasy playlist of February 13th, 2022. This song has won rapturous passage from foreplay to consummation, rendered poetically, poetically written and spoken and sung, frosted with elegance, glazed in gold. This song is glazed. This record is glazed in gold. It is platinum. It is a platinum record. And it's falling right through the cracks. And it shouldn't fall through the cracks. This is a, this, I deem this a bona fide hit record. It is Uh Uh-huh by Litany. And this is, this is going to sound foolish. This is one, this, this, this song, she sings this song in unabashed friskiness. It's, well, basically in today's parlance, it's getting your freak on. But once again, this is such a poetic record. It is expressed in such poetic terms. It's direct, but poetic. Litany with uh uh-huh. Boy, that uh uh-huh, that's that's part of the hook right there. This, This record, the beginning of this record, I'll read you a few of the lyrics I just meant. The beginning of this record, the start of this record, when she starts singing, that's the hook. That's one of the hooks that gathers you, that reaches out. She reaches out and gathers you into a warm embrace or maybe more like a heated pad. <laughs> it's a lovely record. It's absolutely, I, now I'm in love with this record. Uh huh, by Litany at number five. Discovered this on Spotify nine, eight or nine months ago. Wormed its way into my fancy playlist in the top 10. I peaked it at number five. I will peak it at number five. Well, actually, I should peak this at number one. This is a, this is a top five hit. But I'll get into all that in just a minute. And uh, her real name is Beth Cornell. She is from England. And it amazes me when I do research on these people, on these artists, that, that you know, I find them on Spotify and... They seem very obscure, just right out, just right out of nowhere. It's like just sort of spit out of a parallel dimension into this dimension. And well, hey, where are you from? Nice to meet you. But actually, she's been at this for quite a while. 2018, uh, Beth Cornell released her first single. Wrote it down called "Call on Me" in 2018. She played the Leeds Festival. Played a festival at Leeds. She sold out two, she headlined a couple of shows in London, sold out in the fall of 2018, put out a record called Star Sign in 2019, and I believe uh, this record uh, came out in 2020, 2020. She's kicking up some dust in the indie music, in the indie pop scene, and it is an indie pop record, but this record transcends indie pop. This is a bona fide mass appeal record. It's one of the six... It's going to sound really corny. It's one of the sexiest records ever. It's kind of like, uh, it reminds me a little bit of Undercover Angel by Alan O'Day back in 1977. It's uh, just got that vibe to it, that freaky vibe. Yes, indeed. Woo, yeah, she's doing it good. Doing it like Barry White back in the day. She can sing this thing. She can sing that, that quiet storm. Indeed, although it's not really that quiet, <laughs> I, I would, I would imagine, um, it's sort of an upbeat dance. Well, it's not a dance record. Got that great drum roll in there. It's an upbeat pop record, and uh, she here's 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 what happened. The video's pretty cool. She there was a comedian. I'm not familiar with with them. I'm not. If you're watching this video in England, you're probably more familiar with these names than I am. Uh, there are some comedians in, in the video that are well-known overseas, but maybe not necessarily so here in the States. A comedian named Joe Lacite, Lacite L, L-Y-C-E-T-T, uh, during the lockdown in 2020, he listened to Litany Beth Cornell, a.k.a. Beth Cornell, on repeat and was absolutely smitten. Absolutely smitten with her music, her voice, everything. This woman was an amazing talent. And get this, he checked her out on Instagram and he found out that she was a fan of his, Joe Lacita, comedian. 
And Joe Lasite, he thought, he came up with an idea. I want to reach out to her. I want to direct a video. I want to direct her video. And that's what happened, that she he reached out to her and, and he directed this video. Uh-huh. Boy, it's a great hook on this record. Let me read you a few of the lyrics of this. This, this, this is going into first gear. Quote, unquote. Oh, God, I love this line. It is absolutely brilliant. You got to feel good when you feel so, uh, well, I'll just use uh, affectionate. When you feel so affectionate and you can just loosely interpret the word. And you, and then you turn that feeling and express it in, in a poetic form. You gave, quote, you gave me your t-shirt. It, it draws, it, oh, wait. Let me do this one more time. I just scribbled this down, and as I've already mentioned a million times, I can't read my writing very well. I can't write or read my writing. Here it is. Quote, you gave me your T-shirt. It drowns me, but I think that turns you on. You kissed off all my makeup, my hairs and knots, all inhibitions gone. Here we are, fantasies gelling into reality at a fevered pitch. I mean, we got the pedal to the metal now, or is it the metal to the pedal? Pedal to the metal. We're all, we're all on all six cylinders now, baby. This is what, I love this line here too. Uh, 3 a.m., quote, 3 a.m., our bodies like Tetris, trying for a high score. One of my favorites right there. Candlelights refilling our best bits. Classic English phraseology right there. Best bits. Tell me what I'm in for. Quote, unquote. Candlelight dinners morphing into fireworks displays over an open seat. A cauldron of passion. Enveloping these two couple, enveloping this couple in such a warm glow. And it leads to such a heated glow to a warm afterglow. And there you are, baby. <laughs> She's, I, I love the way she sings this song. It's kind of like she's sly. She's not ashamed. She's confident. It's almost like, no, I better not say it. I better not say it. I'll be going over the top if I said that. If I said what I wanted to say. I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, the formats for this record. Let's get down to business. <laughs> Playtime is over. Now let's get back to class, folks. All right, here's the deal. The formats for this record, pop. 24 hours, just pop stations. This record, i tell you this. All right, she's from England. If this record was played on BBC Radio 1, this could go top 10 in England. Wouldn't be surprised if it went to number one in England. You, uh, Ireland, Scotland. If it was played here in the States, it can go places a lot. Heavy rotation. Now you listen to a record like this and you're thinking, well, you know, in some records you think, well, it's got possibilities, but I'll hold off on it. You listen to this record, oh, God, hot rotation. Put it in. Put it in. Put it into the top ten. Play this thing about every two or three hours. But if it can't go on a pop station here in the States, then let's start this record on adult alternative station or an alternative station. Because the alternative stations, they're not just playing heavy rock. They're branching out. I've even heard some dance stuff, pop stuff, mainstream stuff on the local alternative station here in Tuscaloosa, and I guess they're doing it all over. What I'm saying is this record could be a hit. It's got to happen. I mean, one day it's got to happen. Whether it's tomorrow or whether it's two years from now or well, hopefully not that long, but still. Even if, it, even if it happens two years from now, that's better than not, not happening at all. Not happening at all. All right, well, enough is enough. God, I love this record. It's such a... Just check it out. Check it out. Litany. Beth Cornell at number five with Uh-huh on my fantasy playlist, February 13th, 2022.